In the Orthodox Church, we have icons all over the walls on the aneloids, and when people come in, they venerate the icons. And we feel like we're venerating our family. These, these people are very close to us, they're dear to us. These icons are like family pictures for us because our faith isn't an ideology, it's a family history. When we have the option to choose and, and to make high quality icons, then we should. And, and we naturally wouldn't want to do that because it's, they're beautiful. The really amazing thing with Damascene Gallery is that it's actually a portal for iconographers to connect with the faithful. And so Damascene Gallery has networked with iconographers and Father Jonah and the staff at, at Damascene Gallery can help churches and individuals decide what what solution is best for whatever project or gift or, or whatever uh, product the person needs. I've been in larger churches with uh, much more affluent and sizable congregations who do not have this level of iconography. My wife and I are poor school teachers and, and we've, we have probably 10 to 15 to 20 of them in our home um, and they, they really um, can just add immeasurably to the spiritual life. You know, even before uh, I was Orthodox, I always had an appreciation for the artistic quality of them. Um, but now that I am Orthodox and, and I'm buying these, uh, knowing that the person who made them is a, is a very good, uh, godly man, and that a lot of prayer has gone into these, uh, it's, it's very, very important. At the 50th anniversary of this parish, there was a project that was undertaken to beautify uh, the altar space, and that included uh, placing hand-painted toweling in the apse of the church. A natural first step in a parish such as this that has not had iconography, this parish is 70 years old and it does have a few icons but nothing uh, extensive. It made some sense to begin with a toweling project which would uh, actually integrate part of what we do have uh, and if we will expand it throughout the space. So. Father Jonah came over, photographed those images, and used those as the basis for the toweling that you see in the church um, nave here. And knowing that he had the technology to pull this off, it seemed to make sense to use what we do have, rather than creating a whole new template, use what we do have and then print it on high quality canvas and adhere it to the walls so that in many ways it looks much like uh, a home grown or, or even professional uh, piece. You can imagine walls that were totally white uh, except for the toweling. Now the toweling brings a certain level of color into the space that had been lacking. Ultimately, in a perfect world, we all can afford to have iconographers brought in and stay here and put frescoes up on the walls and have these magnificent spaces that are hand done. Uh, but this is indeed a plus for smaller communities that aspire to have that same degree of beauty that a large cathedral might.